Hackers of Reddit, what's something you stumbled upon that you immediately nope the fuck out? Many long years ago there was this website called DON8. It was basically just a weird ambiguous splash page with a countdown timer and a map with red dots all over it. This thing was super effective at rustling the jimmies of the entire internet. I found a way in relatively early on and, based on a few things I found in the web route it became immediately obvious that the whole thing was a prank, so I decided to leave it alone and watch it play out. Right at the very end of the countdown, the guy that was running the whole thing updated the website with his big reveal, including some message about how hackers from all over the world kept trying to break in but none could manage it, called us all lame noobs. I was a bratty teenager, so I took that as a challenge. I was on a teleconference with some other hackers at the time, so we jumped on the server through a back door I'd left and defaced the page with this severely cringe inducing message. Oh god, I can't believe I'm sharing this. I blacked out the guy's name, but I'm sure someone here probably knows him or knows a VON8, so if he sees this, sorry dude. GD kids, right? Anyway, right around this time, as the countdown ended, and for a while after, the server was getting swamped to the point of an essential DOS. This was happening while I was logged into SSH on the server. I was in the process of doing some cleanup, deleting some utility scripts I'd put on the server, but I was impatient. The lag was growing, and I was working faster than the server was sending me responses. I changed directories at one point, and tried to delete everything in it, before seeing a response from the server, and didn't realize I'd fat fingered the cd command. I ended up deleting a bunch of his stuff, that I didn't mean to- The second I realized what I'd done I instantly felt horrible and noped the fuck out of there. We had planned on razzing the guy for a while, but I was just totally done. Was asked to steal a couple bitcoin from a customer's associate back when BTC and old coins were booming. Got access to his wallet fairly easily, being curious as I am. Checked how he got so much coin. Had tons of small sum payments with links attached to the transactions. Checked one and it was just child porn. Lots and lots of child porn. Told the guy I was working for his associate was a fucking pedo and quickly dropped a line to the relevant authorities. Shit like that fucks you up man. TLDR was asked to gain access to a BTC wallet, checked the transactions and they were selling fucked up child porn. Got hired through a website where someone wanted me to gain access to a kid's computer who darkst him. Got onto it, and found that he was looking up recipes for explosives. Turned him in, and noped out of there. Have had a few others where I found CP. It's way too common quickly make a throw away because slightly paranoid or whatever also hardly hacking but it counts i like finding insecure ipe cameras mostly ones with no password or the default password and then log into them to see wherever they are a lot are in houses some are in kids rooms or whatever never tend to keep any open long enough to see popal one was in a random house in the front room and there was some girl on the sofa who was four or five years old after a few minutes they got up and were totally naked. Never went back to that one. Not really hacking, but back in the day I wrote a trojan that would steal user account info and cd keys from Diablo 2, which I would sell later on ebay for sweet sweet cash. It would proxy between the connection of the client and server, and while the user was in a chat room on the realm it would spam download links for the trojan and subsequently hide the messages from anyone infected, so they wouldn't suspect anything. This made itself spreading, and it was actually so effective that eventually Blizzard put up a warning about it on their website. I took down the sites hosting it at that point, since I was scared, and didn't want it getting traced back to me. I was at a CS LAN party ages ago. I ran a bunch of nets and scripts on the network causing prompts to pop up in front of the game saying dumb shit good luck. Right behind you. Your mother gives great head. Eventually the party organizer paused the games to walk everyone through how to disable messaging services. The funny thing was that about 15% of the people already had that off, including my group, and it caused a few unfair wins. I noped out when people starting looking at me, since I wasn't exactly quiet about the whole thing, was fucking amazing, and the start of a long long road of engineering and infosec work. I worked for a company that was selling people's data. They had about 6 million leads. I dropped the DB before I left. I hope that company collapsed the next morning. 
Couple of years back, I was real big into reactivating old Hotmail accounts and using them to log in into Facebook. Since this was in the heyday of chain mails with a hundred or so accounts there, I had a huge backlog. Dunno why I did it, a combination of boredom and verism, I think, and lots of free time. I felt like a sort of hacker, at least. Occasionally, you stumble upon things you wish you weren't supposed to- I mean, yeah, I know how that sounds. Once, I came upon a guy's facer book, and after a while you instantly realize it hasn't been used in years. A bit like coming across an abandoned house. Tons of notifications and unopened PMS. On the top of the list of those messages, it was a woman that kept trying to contact him. My first impression was that it was a stalker, maybe an ex that wasn't able to move on. I really don't want to get into details, because even for me, it feels like I walked in.